Hi creatives, this is AJ here. Today I'm going to show you an overview of how I manage my Instagram account. I have gone through Hootsuite and Buffer and many of the other third party apps and I basically for my art and for my business I focus mostly on Instagram. Then I use another program that will cross post to other areas but my main focus is I want to spend more time in the studio. I work a long day as I'm sure all of you are and I really just want to spend um, maybe an hour a day, a week of really loading up my my queue for my Instagram. And what it is is you have your app on your phone, and then I'm using my MacBook here or any computer you have. I'm logged into my Planoly account, and I can um, pre-schedule everything. But it also gives me analytics, which is very important. So Planoly, I'm currently using a free account. You get one email, one free account, and you're limited. You can't post. You know hundreds and thousands of things but for me it's fine so here I'm in my account here's Planoly it's showing me that I'm in my AJ Grossman art account and it's going to show me I'm going to click back for a minute this was my month of April and I can see everything that posted and how many likes I have and I can see the time so I know from a quick overview that my best posting time that has the highest amount of engagement as you can see is 2:15. So 84 likes. And if I want to see what post it is, I can just click on there. And it had to do with when I was cleaning my art table, believe it or not. So I don't know if it was the hashtag on there because actually it's a lousy photo. But it, so it's a good way for me to know. So I know, I, you can see I have all different times. I have morning, I have evening, I vary it. So I found that my sweet spot tends to be two in the afternoon. So I'm going to keep it like that. So I click on add new media and it's going to allow me to go from wherever it is, if it's in my Dropbox, my Google Drive, my computer, and I can upload my photos. So I've uploaded a few photos. You'll see the U means unscheduled and the S means scheduled. So the other interesting thing about this is that this grid that I'm looking at is actually the grid of my Instagram account. So if I decide on my unscheduled before I schedule anything that I want something different, I can pick it up and move it. Let's say I have two things together that I don't like, or I have too many darks. So I can predetermine what my what my um, Instagram feed is going to look like. But I'm not worried about that so much. So let's go back to May since we're in May, and I'm going to show you how to how to list something. So this photo here on the left of my postcards, I'm going to drop and drag it to Friday because I want it to go to Friday. I actually had pre-written my information because I was practicing. The great thing is, is down below, as I'm typing my hashtags, I typed in caustic, art shows a good one. I think it has like 1.7 million hits. Um, artsy, Fort Lauderdale is where I live, Florida. I always type my name, AJ Grossman, painter. Home decor is a really good one. I'm going to put in postcards just to see what comes up. 2 million hits on postcard. So I'm going to use that one. Um, I always put in wax because I paint in wax. Wax has 4.2 million people using it. So it's a really good way to, for me to see which is a really good, um, I always put painter because I am a painter. Painter has, and we'll say painting problems, painter's 2.7 million, painter's life is only 74,000, a painter life is 19,000. So I'm going to use painter because it's 2.7 hits or hashtags being used and then I just get to hit save and there it is in my queue. So what's going to happen is tomorrow I have the Planoly app in my phone and it's going to give me alert. Oh, the one thing I have to do, I have to fix this is the time. Oops, forgot that. So we know that 2 p.m. is my sweet spot. So I'm going to scroll down until like 2 p.m. shows up. That one was 2.15 there, but we're going to just put 2 p.m and I'm gonna save it again, and now it's telling me my time. So tomorrow at 11.15, because I have one schedule for 11.15, um, an alert's gonna come in my phone, it's gonna tell me open up my app, and then it's gonna guide me through, it's gonna connect through um, into Instagram and I can post. I still have to cut and paste, which it already does for me, all the third-party apps to Instagram because the way that their security is does not allow you to post directly, but that's okay. So I can sit and po plan out pretty much my entire month. And if I don't like it or I'm not sure and I want to change something, I can do that. Now, sometimes I only post one a day because sometimes I'm going to post something in the moment that I may see. Now, I know tomorrow night 
I'm going to be out and about the town for an art event. So I want to most likely be posting within the moment. If not, I'll take a picture and post it later. So I try to vary it. If something that's happening now, sometimes I post twice a day, but I try to post a minimum of once a day. So that's how to post. I can make a draft, which I don't have any drafts. I can discover, and discover is I can search for hashtags or I can search for users if I'm looking for somebody. So I'm always looking for galleries. So if I put gallery, there's 11, 000, 11 million people using the word gallery. I may want to put in art gallery, but usually gallery. Let's try art gallery. Okay, art gallery has 4.7. We'll try that one first. So sometimes I go through, and sometimes it's just people posting. It's not an actual art gallery, but you can usually tell from the name if it is an art gallery or if I see something I like. So I'm like, you know what? I really like this person's art. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to see everything in their photo stream so I can see all of their work. So this gives me, so I can see, I think that's my save button. So I can see everything. I think it lets me repost actually. So I can actually, oh, that's the other thing. I can actually forget repost and give somebody credit, which is a really good shout out. So if I want to tell my friends, hey, I really like this page. I can give this person a shout out. Um, I can also analyze. So it's telling me how many followers I have of today, how many I'm following, how many likes I received, how many comments I received. It breaks it down by, I think this is a week. So I only had two posts so far, but last week I always have to beat last week, which was 92 and I had 10 comments and likes per post and comments per post, and I gained four followers last week, I gained four followers six weeks, so it kind of gives me an overview. I could do it by month or by year. And then it also has a comment section. So I know that this person had commented on my post this morning, and I went back and replied what it was. And then the little star here is actually the same as like the little heart. So I can um, always um, put the star there. and to let them know if I don't want to write, but it's always nice to write back. So I can go in and monitor all my things um, and from people have comments. This was a repost. So I had reposted something and she thanked me back. So it's always good to share the wealth. So I don't actually have to be in my phone all the time. A lot of times I'm just sitting here and it's just, for me, it's easier to type on a laptop. I don't know how these kids type um, with two hands on an iPhone, but this is a really great tool. It's so easy to drop and drag. You know, I can spend one hour a week on it and get a lot accomplished for all my scheduling and then I can peruse in the app. So it's like I said, it's called Planoly, P-L-A-N-O-L-Y. It is free with one email address, gives you one free account. Um, it will tell you to log in with your Instagram account. So you have to make sure it is the correct email address that you use for your Instagram account. There are upgraded plans. Like I said, I don't remember how many I get um, with this. For some reason, I, for, I forgot. I think I get 20 or 30 posts, which is enough for what I need. Because if I don't want to use this, like I said, I'm still posting in the moment on Instagram. Please remember to subscribe to this channel for more information to, for an artist helping artists with social media. Please comment and like it. Please share the video. And until next time, remember to art post and promote.